the Constitution of the United States of America. Article 1, the legislature. Here's the overview. What is the main purpose of the Constitution of the United States? It is to limit the power of the government by limiting the power of the government directly, by dividing the power of the government, and by allowing each of the divided parts to check and balance each other. The Constitution has seven parts called articles. Article one is the legislature. Article two is the executive, and article three is the judicial. These are the main three parts. There's also article four concerning the states, and article five, how to pass amendments. There's article six, which states that the constitution is the supreme law of the land. And finally, article seven, which tells how the Constitution became legal. So, Article One, the Congress. Vocabulary, veto. If the president rejects a law, even though it is passed by Congress, he can stop it from becoming a law. Impeachment is a recommendation that an officer or judge be removed from office. Commerce is just another name for business and trade, people buying and selling. Ex post facto is making something illegal even before the law was passed. And a bill of attainder is declaring somebody guilty without a trial. This is when Congress tries to act as though it were a court. And finally, habeas corpus. For the purposes of this class, let's just say it's the right to have a trial when arrested. So, Article 1, Section 1. All lawmaking power is given to Congress, and Congress shall have two houses. This means laws cannot be made by the executive, and laws cannot be made by the judicial. There's the House of Representatives, that's going to be in Section 2. And there's the Senate, and that's going to be in Section 3. Section 2, the House of Representatives. A member of the House must be 25 years old and must have been a citizen for seven years. The number of representatives allowed from each state is based on the population of that state. The House is the only part of the government to have the power to begin impeachment. And all laws for raising money must start here. Section three, the Senate. There'll be two senators from each state, regardless of the state's population. Members must be 30 years old and be nine years a citizen. The vice president must vote if the Senate is tied. Since there's two from each state, there'll always be an even number of senators and we could end up in a tie. Once the House has impeached somebody, the Senate will try the case. The election of Congress persons will be controlled by the state. This is section four. Now let's do a little compare and contrast. Representatives have a reputation for sometimes having hot discussions, where the Senate has a more formal reputation. The House has the power to impeach. The Senate has the power to run the impeachment trial once the House has impeached. The House has impeached many times, but the Senate has never convicted on a pet president brought to them for impeachment. The 
House is elected every two years and the Senate is elected every six years. The Senate has its elections staggered so that parts of it are elected every two years, but each person in the Senate has six years before that person's election comes back. That's so that the Senate cannot be replaced all at once. The House has hundreds of members. The Senate has exactly 100 members. Each member of the House represents a state district, not the whole state. But in the Senate, both members are expected to represent the whole state. The House is meant to be the voice of the people. The Senate is meant to be the voice of the state. The House has the power to start new taxes. Since it's the voice of the people, it's going to prevent the people from being overtaxed. The Senate has the power to approve or reject important decisions of the president, like treaties and judges. Section five, each house of Congress will make its own rules and will keep records of its meeting. Almost everything that's said in the Congress is written down and produced in the congressional record. Neither house will stop meeting for more than three days unless the other house approves. And the members of both houses will take place in the Capitol. Section six, privileges and restrictions of congresspersons. Congresspersons may not be arrested while attending Congress, except for treason, nor may they be arrested while traveling to and from Congress. This is to prevent people from arresting a congressperson just to keep them from voting. They might want to arrest them even though they know that they can't bring them to trial because it would keep them from attending and casting that vote. And what congresspersons say on the floor of Congress can only be questioned about while they're on the floor. They can't be brought in for questioning by the police. No congressperson can have any other job while he or she is a congressperson. That's to keep this sort of bribe thing from happening. You see in the illustration here, well, if he votes our way, we'll make him director or something uh, with an annual salary. Section seven, bills must be presented to the president to sign. So a bill is on its way to becoming law. And if it's approved by 51% of both houses, if it fails to be approved, it does not become a law. But if it is approved, it's got to go to the president and the president has to sign it. Now, if he signs it, it becomes a law. But if he vetoes it, it goes back to the Congress. And if Congress can approve it by 67% or two thirds of both houses, then it still becomes a law, even though the president vetoed it. However, if they can't get that two thirds vote, if the bill fails to become a law. And we'll watch this old classic. Section eight, the 18 powers of Congress. Power number one, Congress can collect taxes. Power number two, they can borrow money. Power number three, they have the ability to regulate commerce across state lines. Now remember, commerce is just people buying and selling. Power number four, they have the power to decide how people become citizens and how people become bankrupt. Power number five, they get to make the money and decide about our weights and measures. This is why we don't do metric. It would take an act of Congress to make us metric. Power number six, they have the power to punish counterfeiters. Power number seven, to make the post office. Power number eight, to protect writers and inventors. 
with trademarks, copyrights, and patents. Power number nine, to create the courts beneath the Supreme Court. Con uh, the Constitution created the Supreme Court, but the Congress created the courts below the Supreme Court. Power number 10, to punish pirates. Power number 11, to declare war. That is correct. Congress declares war, not the president. Powers 12, 13, and 14 give the power to Congress to raise an army and a navy and to regulate them. Powers 15 and 16 give the power to Congress to call up a militia and to regulate them. Power number 17 is the power to control Washington, D.C. and other federal properties like forts. Power number 18 is the power to make all the laws that are necessary and proper in order to carry out the previous 17 powers. The 16th Amendment also gives Congress the power to collect income tax, but that came later. Congress has no other legal powers. Section nine, the limits the Constitution puts on Congress. Limitation number one, the states will get to control all the immigration until 1808. Limitation number two, they must keep the writ of habeas corpus except during rebellion or invasion. Remember, habeas corpus is the right to have a trial when arrested. They can't just throw you in jail and leave you there. Limitation number three, Congress cannot pass bills of attainder. They cannot declare somebody's guilty, nor shall they pass laws of ex post facto, making something illegal before the law was passed. Limit number four, Congress shall not charge income tax, but this limit was changed by the 16th Amendment. So on to limit number five, no taxes shall be put on any export from the USA. We want to be able to sell our goods overseas. Limitation number six, Congress shall not favor one state over another. Limitation number seven, they can take no money from the treasury except in legal ways. And limitation number eight, no ranks of nobility will be granted. We're not gonna have any dukes, barons, counts, or anything like that. And finally, section 10, the last section of article one covering the legislature. Congress is over the states in these areas. No state, shall make a treaty, make money, or do any of the things that are denied to Congress. So if Congress can't do it, neither can the states. Number two, no state can charge import or export taxes. In other words, they cannot tax things coming from another state, but they can inspect them. No state shall keep troops or ships of war in times of peace nor shall they engage in war unless in immediate danger. All right, if our state is in immediate danger, we can fight, but otherwise we can't. Okay, let's review. What's the main purpose of the Constitution? The purpose of the Constitution is to limit the power of the government. What part of the government is controlled by Article One? of the Constitution. Well, if you don't get this one, you weren't paying any attention at all. The entire lesson was about the Congress. What's the main responsibility of Congress? To carry out laws, to create laws, to decide which laws are constitutional, or to lead the military. Which are the two houses of Congress? the legislature, the parliament, the Senate, or the House of Representatives. What do we call each of the two houses? It's the Senate and the House of Representatives. How many people does each state get to send to the House of the Representatives? Well, it depends on the population, depends on the size. Each state gets one, each state gets two. Now the House of Representatives. 
depends on the population of the state. How many people does each state get to send to the Senate? Same options. Each state gets two. What does the Constitution require for people to be elected to Congress? The person must be white and male. The person must be a certain age. The person must have been a citizen for so many years. Or the person must belong to one of the political parties. The person must be a certain age and have been a citizen for so many years. According to the Constitution, if the Senate is tied, who gets to break the tie? The Supreme Court, the President, the states, or the Vice President? What does the Constitution forbid Congress from doing? Collecting taxes, borrowing money, deciding how people become citizens, or awarding ranks of nobility? What is the meaning of the term veto? Passing a law that says someone's guilty, making something illegal after it was actually done, stopping a bill from becoming law, or a recommendation to remove an officer or a judge. A veto is stopping a bill from becoming law. What is the meaning of the term habeas corpus? Same options, habeas corpus, is when they have you, when you have a right to a trial after you're arrested. What does the Constitution forbid Congress from doing? Coining money, creating courts, suspending habeas corpus, or punishing pirates? Suspending habeas corpus is forbidden, except during times of rebellion. What is the meaning of the term bill of attainder? Passing a law that says someone's guilty, making it illegal after it was done, stopping a bill from becoming law, or a recommendation to remove an officer or a judge. A bill of attainder is passing a law that says someone is guilty when a Congress tries to act like they're a court. What does the Constitution forbid Congress from doing? Making a post office, regulating commerce across state lines, declaring war, or passing laws that favor one state? over another. Well, the states have to be treated equally. What is the meaning of the term impeach? It is a recommendation to remove an officer or judge. It is not the removal of that person. What does the Constitution forbid Congress from doing? Punishing pirates? creating courts, placing taxes on exports, or coining money. Placing taxes on exports. We want to be able to sell our things overseas without a big tax on them. What is the meaning of the term habeas corpus? Passing a law that says someone guilty, making it illegal after it was done, the right to have a trial, or a recommendation to remove an officer or a judge. Habeas corpus is the right to have a trial. What does the Congress, what does the Constitution forbid Congress from doing? It forbids them from taking money from the Treasury, except in legal ways. According to the Constitution, what part of the government is the only part able to declare war? Supreme Court, the President, the Congress, or the states? Please remember that only the Congress can declare war. And which are the three main branches of the government as established by the Constitution? It is the executive, the legislature, and the judicial. Name the two houses of Congress, the House of Representatives and the Senate. To which house do the states send the same number of members of Congress? The Senate. Each state gets two. 